Welcome back to your mat. So day 23, we are going to do some grounding and some hip stuff, you know, the usual. So I'm pretty covered up here in all my layers. I will remove them eventually, but um, we're gonna start in Supta Konasana. So soles of the feet together, knees out to the side and rock the lower back out from underneath you. And if you need to, you place props underneath the outer hips here. Right. Reach the arms up, and we're gonna take opposite elbows if you can, right? Or if, just wrists if you can't grab opposite elbows. I'm just gonna grab my wrists so I don't keep hitting my, my little AirPods here. And just take a moment and check in. So feel the back body just releasing into the mat. See if you can soften the lower body. Bring your awareness to your breathing. Soften the space between and behind your eyes. Drop your gaze into your heart space. And open yourself to an intention for your practice today. Simply crisscross the other way with your hands and your arms. All right, grab the opposite elbow in front and just kind of switch the hand to the back of the, up, the other elbow. Or again, crisscrossing the forearms or wrists the opposite way. And let's just take a few deep breaths here in through the nostrils. Feel your belly filling and expanding as you breathe in. And out through the nostrils, feeling a softening in your center as you breathe out, softening in the hips, softening in the groin. Try to keep the breath balanced here. A couple deep breaths. Get deeply connected to your body and your physical experience. So as we move through our practice, you are completely aware of where your body is in space. One more deep breath in. Release the arms back down. And take your feet on the mat wide apart. We're just going to move through a couple of windshield wipers here. Just take a deep breath in in the middle, drop the knees over to the right as you exhale. And inhale the legs back to center, over to the left as you exhale. And use your breath as you move, inhaling, the legs come up, exhaling, the legs drop to the side. And just one more here, over to the left. And back to center. Just bring your knees into your chest. We're going to rock ourselves vertically along our mat and come up to seated. So let's take the right leg out in front. I'm going to take my socks off. <laughs> Slowly get into more of my yoga gear. And the left foot into the upper inner thigh of that right leg. So if you need to, you place blankets underneath you, right? If you're tight here. And let's just kind of even out our sitting bones and get active through this extended right leg. So that right hip is drawing back a little bit into the body. We're going to extend, reach the arms up over the head and exhale, fold forward with a flat back as far as you can go. And then you're just going to round yourself out. So let your head drop here. Take a few deep breaths 
kind of just hanging out over this leg and being active throughout the extended leg. So lifting up that kneecap, pressing the heel down, spreading the toes wide. Right? It's kind of feeling that right leg wake up. And all the while drawing, just subtly drawing the hips of this bone, right? This huge bone in our thigh, drawing it back into its socket just subtly. Let's inhale, lift the chest up. So you're coming into a flat back. So you may need to come a little higher and we're just gonna twist over to the right. So take your hand on the outside of that leg, could be up here and we turn. If you have a little more space, you can kind of reach forward with that left arm, pull the right ribs back, take a deep breath from the tailbone up the back of your body into the ribs, bend those right ribs back. And let's bring it back to center. Release, shake it out. Left leg goes straight, right foot comes inside of that left thigh. Again, you may need to prop yourself here. And we float the arms up. Now my massive thick sweatshirt hoodie comes off. <laughs> Inhale, float the arms up to the sky. Exhale, fold over that extended leg. And the same thing, right? So we've got activation throughout the left leg. Quads are active. Foot is active, pressing the heel down, letting yourself drop. Breathing deeply into the pose. Feel that left femur drawing back as the torso lengthens forward. Let's rise up into a flat back and then twist to the left. So right hand on the outside of that leg somewhere, maybe up here and spin those left ribs back. Deep breath up the back body into the side body. Exhale, we spin around. And rise up, both legs out in front, shake it out. Let's swing ourselves around onto our hands and knees. And we'll take our plank pose. So fingers spread wide. Either you're walking your knees back and you're holding your plank here or you're taking a full plank. And playing with your hold, right? So maybe you're hanging out here and it starts to be a little too intense. You bring your knees back down and breathe. And don't lose the engagement if you can, right? If you need to and it's too intense, then press back into child's pose or puppy dog pose, or down dog. You know your postures, hopefully by now. Shoulders back, right? Collarbones open. All 10 fingers spread wide. When did we start? <laughs> Just kidding. Good, so get all those toes under you. Press the thighs up to the sky. Make sure your core is nice and stable and strong. The breath is balanced and even. Start to draw those palms back a little bit, elbows back a little bit, squeezing into the armpit. Are you lifting up those thighs a little bit, right? Kneecaps are active, uh, lifting up the kneecaps. Quadriceps are active. Maybe pressing the heels a little bit, almost as if you're pushing into something with your heels, like there's something there that you're pushing into. Just a couple more breaths and we're almost done. All right, a couple more than a couple more. Make sure the head is not collapsing. Good, one more breath. So it was, it was a few more. And let's take our downward facing. So you can bend your knees here when you press back into your downward and really get the length in your spine, let your head get heavy. If you have the space, you'll straighten out your legs. If you're really tight here, bend your knees, push, push to get the spine long, deep core active. Let the head get heavy, you can even kind of rock it back and forth. And we're gonna float the right foot to the top of the mat. So right foot steps forward, and we're gonna spin ourselves sideways. So turn your right foot, so it's parallel to the short side of your mat, left foot is parallel as well to the short side of your mat. You're in a forward fold here with the feet wide apart. If you cannot get your hands to the mat, bend your knees. If that doesn't work, prop comes in handy, okay? 
So you can kind of just hang here. Let's shift our weight a little bit. So you want to keep the whole foot down. You're going to shift your weight to the ball mounds of your foot and spread your toes really wide. Let's press into the outer ankles. You might see your arch lift a little bit more when you do that if you do not have that activation. And then just see if you can kind of push, keeping the weight in the top of the foot. See if you can push your heels down just a little bit. But don't sink your butt back, right? And then we're going to bend our, am I marrying you guys? I'm not marrying you guys. We're going to bend our right knee, right palm either to the mat or to our support. And we're going to spin up to the left arm, up and back behind you. So start to take those left ribs back. Breathe. Really lift out of the pose and float the left arm up, left hand down, both hands to your mat or your block. Inhale, half lift, so half forward fold. And drop back down into the full fold. We place our left palm down, we bend our left knee, and we spin that right arm up. Both shoulders roll back. Right hand behind the back. And spin those right ribs up. Try to lift yourself. Breathe. And float the right arm up, right palm back down, both hands to the mat, inhale or block, half fold, exhale, full fold, hands to the waist, elbows back, lift yourself into standing, and we're going to flip our toes. So have your feet, let me move this out of the way, have your feet uh, either heel to heel alignment, maybe a little bit wider apart, right? Just depending on how open your, your hips are. And arms out to the side. Deep breath here. Inhale. And we're going to drop into Virabhadrasana 2, Warrior 2. Remember that our knee doesn't fold in, right? So it doesn't collapse in. We have that outer right hip drawing into the body. So deep breath out. Exhale, Virabhadrasana 2. Wrap your left hand behind your back. Inhale. Look down towards your left heel. Peaceful warrior. Exhale, we're going to just windmill right into side angle pose. So rest on your thigh and left arm up and over biceps by the ear. So that's going to be our little flow here. Inhale, straighten that front leg, arms out to the side, gazes over your front right fingers. Exhale, Virabhadrasana 2. Maybe you can go deeper into that lunge. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Look back towards your heel. Exhale, side angle pose. Maybe you have more space. Maybe you can go down to your block, right? And hold. And inhale, back to warrior, uh, back to standing. Exhale, warrior two. Left hand wraps. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Look down towards that back heel. Exhale, side angle pose. Maybe you come to your block. Maybe you go all the way down to the mat. Inhale, back to standing. This time we're going to hold all three of those poses. Exhale, Virabhadrasana 2, Warrior 2. So remember in your Warrior 2, you're going, dropping right down into your center of gravity. So if you have any lean in this pose, pull your torso back to the middle, right? Gaze over those front fingers as you breathe. Perhaps you can go deeper into the pose. Maybe you can find a little bit more support in different parts of your body. One more breath here. Make sure that back leg is active, outer ankle pressing down. And peaceful warrior wrap. Your left hand behind your back. You may not go all the way back, right? Just pull it behind your back. And gaze back towards those left heels. So drop down deeper if you have the space. Maybe you can get those right ribs to lift up just a little bit more. And inhale back to center. Exhale, side angle pose. And take whatever space you have in the pose. Deep breaths here. Where is your body in this pose, right? Can you keep that right hip drawing into the body so you're not sticking your butt out like that and kind of losing your center, losing the control in the pose? One more breath here. Press into the mat with your feet. Bring yourself back to standing. Straighten that front leg. And we flip our toes to the back of the mat. Toes in, toes out. Find your alignment. So you may need to inch that back foot over a little bit. Right? Either heel to heel. Maybe a little bit wider apart. Inhale. Arms out. Exhale. 
warrior two. Inhale, back hand wraps, and we look down towards our back heel, left arm up, peaceful warrior. Exhale, arms come back around, we windmill the side angle. Inhale, breathe in, straighten out that front leg. Exhale, warrior two, you're looking over those front fingers. Gaze is steady. Back hand wraps, inhale, peaceful warrior, breathe into the left side of your body. Exhale, side angle pose. Maybe you find more space as we move through the pose, poses. Inhale, straighten that front leg. Exhale, Virabhadrasana two. Make sure your knee's right above that ankle. Squeeze that glute in. Back hand wraps, left arm reaches up, look down towards your right heel. Exhale, peaceful, uh, partial Konasana. We were just in Peaceful Warrior. And inhale, Warrior, uh, straight leg. So now we hold. Exhale, Warrior Two. So again, find your center. Sometimes you have to make the adjustment, right? Because we just have to be aware of where our bodies are. It doesn't always happen completely correctly the first time. So make the adjustments. Be mindful of where your body is in space. If you don't feel like you're in the center, one way to kind of discover that is if you pull yourself back, you'll feel a deeper opening in this back leg hip. So one more breath here in your warrior two. And then we'll take our backhand rapid, take our peaceful warrior, gaze down towards that right ankle. Maybe you have more room in the arms, you go deeper. Squeeze those thighs, I know they're burning. One more breath here. And we windmill into our side angle. So just so you can kind of get the visual here, right? The side angle is from these fingertips down the line to that heel. So see if you can discover that. Maybe you can go deeper. Maybe you have more space to go deeper. Maybe you can go all the way to your mat. Just make sure the ribs aren't collapsing, right? Reaching through the side of the body. One more breath here. And push into the mat, windmill those arms up. Burning legs. Good. Let's take our feet parallel, step the feet together, and shake it out. So let's come down to our knees here. And tuck your toes under. We're going to sit back onto our heels if you need to. You prop a bunch of blankets on top of your calves and your, and your heels and sit back. And we're going to reach the hands back. So you might need to prop yourself up on supports if you can't get your hands to the mat. Either case, you're leaning back and lifting the pelvis up. So let's press the knees down, hug the inner thighs in, keep those deep belly muscles and front ribs in. Start to drop your gaze back and breathe. Maybe that pelvis can lift a little bit higher. One more breath. Drop the, uh, the hips down. Come back onto your hands and knees. And let's swing ourselves around onto our backs. So knees deep into the chest here. Rock yourself back and forth. And we're going to take the right knee on top of the left knee. We're going to scoop the foot underneath the calf if you can. If you can't access that, you're really just hugging the shin and the lower the foot into each other. So right is on top, arms reaching up to the sky, right elbows underneath the left elbow. Crisscross and clap your palms together or grab your thumb, right, if you can't reach your palms, or you're going to hug yourself. So whatever variation you're doing here of our Supta Gomakasana, our Supta uh, Garudasana, our eagle pose, you're going to spread your shoulder blades out. And so pressing the elbows upwards towards the sky will assist in that, right? Push up. You want your head on the mat, so we're not lifting. We're just getting that opening across the upper back. Also with the lower legs in eagle pose, squeeze those inner thighs in towards each other. Always have a, a strong core here. 
And then we release the arms. You can keep the bind or you can unbind. You can even unhook your legs. We're gonna twist over to the right. So just see how much space you have to get there. You can always put supports underneath the outer hip there. Let's rock that right shoulder blade out, gaze to the left, and always with the side body, right? Making sure there's length here in the waist. And it's not squishing up. I can't even get it to squish up. And it's not squishing up. Left hip is drawing away from you. Take a deep breath here. Belly strong. We bring it back to center. Crisscross left over right. Bind or no bind. Left elbow under the right elbow, crisscross, palms together. You're grabbing your thumb or you're hugging yourself. One of those variations. Squeeze the inner thighs in. Where am I? Left. And elbows up to the sky, shoulder blades spread. So you don't want them up towards your nose, right? You have them in line somewhere in line with your shoulders. And then press up. So the forearms are actually parallel to the sky. And they're not tilting here. Just feel those shoulder blades spreading out. Let's release the arms and drop into the twist to the left. Rock that left shoulder blade out. We'll lengthen the right side of the body. Take a deep breath here into your twist. And inhale back to center. Let's make our way into Shavasana. We'll take a quick Shavasana and move into our meditation practice. Give your body space. Wiggle that torso tall. Allow the thighs to soften the knees. The upper body, the arms. The back of the head sinking into the earth. If you're still holding on to your core, let go of the abdomen. Feel the rise and fall of the belly. Soften the space between the eyes. Start to dive into that space. Soften the gaze, the inner gaze. And begin to look deeply into yourself. So wiggle the fingers and toes and reach the arms up, stretch it out, deep stretch through the whole body. Drawing the knees in, we're gonna rock ourselves to our side, keeping the eyes closed and make your way up to seated. So come up into a tall, comfortable seated position. You may need to prop yourself. And shoulders up and back. Keeping that focus on that third eye space. Bring your awareness to the area between your navel and your pelvis. Just visualizing in this space, the breath flowing in as if it's filling this area. And the breath flowing out, cleansing this space. Connect with any sensations that may arise in this region. And begin to imagine a soft 
orange light gently enveloping this area. Bringing a deep sense of peace within. Our emotions, creativity, and expression reside here. So as you visualize this calming light filling the space, consider how it can contribute to bringing balance to your emotions by illuminating areas of darkness or heaviness. and breathing light into those spaces. See this warm orange glow as a source of inspiration, fueling your creativity and allowing for a natural flow of expression. By focusing on this simple visualization, you're fostering emotional well-being, as well as freeing the channel to your creative energy so you can thrive. Continue experiencing the energy at your sacral chakra allowing the light to overcome any areas where you may be holding on to obstacles. Take your palms up to prayer. Seal all of that work in between your hands. Let's press the thumbs into the sternum. Draw the chin and bow, the head forward. Bow down to your ability to create. And you're creating every moment of the day. You have the power to create whatever you choose, be aware of that and use that power, dive into your creativity, honor that space. And create wisely. Let us honor our light and the deep love that exists within us and all beings. And from that deep love, send a prayer of healing and a prayer of peace to the world around you. May all beings experience Take a moment to express gratitude for three things in your life.
Inhale to have practice. Have a blissful remainder of your day. Thank you for practicing. Namaste. Your journal prompt for today. Explore the depths of your creative energy and reflect on how you can utilize that energy to give form to your passions and desires. So explore the depths of your creative energy and reflect on how you can utilize that energy to give form to your passions and desires. See what your angels have to say today. We have freedom. Peace. and purpose. Remember also to write in your journal about the shifts that have happened with you from the start of practice to the end. And also, if you have time, just check in with your journal every now and then, kind of reread what you've written and see also what shifts have happened from when we started to, yeah. Thank you for being here. Have a wonderful day and I will see you on your mats tomorrow.